Hey guys, your boy Versus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 Survival Horror Game Series. And in today's video, we're going to be continuing on with our game. We finally finished most of the gameplay stuff in terms of functionality and it's finally time to start actually sculpting the world, creating the world around us and actually getting the game to look and feel really, really great. Anyway, so having said that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to start to work on the level for our game. Now, now, most of the time we don't normally just start creating a level off the top of our heads, we usually try and do some kind of planning for the level so we know exactly what we're creating. So what I'm going to be doing today is not necessarily how to use the engine, but how to create like a very, very basic level plan. A level plan that we can then begin to use to transition um, and turn it into a real game, you know, bring it into the engine. So the first half of the video, I'm just going to be creating a very basic level plan for the, you know, for one section of the level. And then I'm going to start sculpting it using the terrain editor to bring it to life. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using Photoshop. Now we don't necessarily need to use Photoshop to do a level plan. We can use anything else. For example, you could use GIMP or you can use the poor man's version of Photoshop, which is paint.net or anything that you really want. Or even if you wanted to, you could just go ahead and draw it down on a piece of pen and paper. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to create a new document. Now, once I've done that, we can actually start creating our level plan. So, before I do actually go and start creating this level plan, I'm just going to let you know that my level, uh, we're just going to have one level for this simple little game, and it's just going to be like this sort of like haunted uh, mansion sort of thing for courtyard, and you're going to be able to pick up various things along the way, and you're also going to you know have various jump scares and a few other bits and bobs so we need to put all of that into our level plan itself so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna start working on the level plan for the courtyard the outside area and this outside area is just gonna be like some paths that you go through some trees you go around a lake and you have to pick up a few things on the way to get into some doors like keys and such so you know the player actually has to do something and it's not just walk and move around like a lot of games are at the moment. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to try and get this down on paper. For whatever reason I find that I work best when I actually have a darker background. And I'm just going to go ahead and use a white pen. You don't have to do this, it's entirely up to you, it's all down to personal preference really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try and start jotting down. Uh, so I'm going to start off with like having a little lake in my scene here. I'm not going to try and colour anything in for now because I mean it's really really not that important. And I'm also going to try and jot down the paths. So I'm going to have like a little spawn area on the left hand side of the map um, over here. So I'm just going to mark that with a little X. Once we've done that, I'm just going to have some basic little movement for the paths go, uh, going up and down here. Just, you know, around some trees, add a little bit of variation. One thing I do want you guys to keep in mind is that players never want to be walking in a play in a straight line. So try and give them a little bit of movement, even if that's bending around corners and stuff like that. Don't put them in a straight line. Anyway, so I'm going to have the player, you know, have some paths that go around the lake. You know, if they wanted to, you know, they can go through it, over it, whatever you want to. But I'm just going to leave the paths like here, like this for now. And I'm also going to have some paths just going up to the courtyard as well. And I'm just going to leave the doors for that courtyard just here. So that's going to be the walls. And now I need to put a few things along the way. For example, I'm going to need to put some keys to actually get into the building. So for that, I might, you know, want to put like a little, a little shed over here. You know, they have to go through to get that. And then I'd mark that down with the key and everything like that. So... Da, da, da. So I'm just going to put a little bit of text in here, shed with key, going to make that a little bit smaller, we don't want it to be all over the place, so there we are, let's chuck that in there, I'm going to rotate that, very very simple, and I should probably also do the same with the lake that we have here, just you know, write down on there that it's a lake, or I could just cover, colour it in blue, you know, it's entirely you know up to you guys, I mean at the end of the day, other people don't have to actually understand your plans, you know, if you're working with yourself. However, if you want to get feedback or you want to, you know, look at working in a team in the future, you've got to try and simplify your plan as much as possible so that we can actually start, you know, moving, passing it on to the other level designers, getting them to understand it, getting them to understand it, passing it on to, you know, 
3D environmental artists that, you know, want to know what's in the level so they know what to make. Um, so it is good to, you know, have it nice and easy to understand. And we're also going to have a bunch of trees along the way, so I'm just going to get some, like, little brown dots for that. Not brown, green, because the trees are green. Usually they are anyway. Uh, so I'm going to get some little green tree uh, dots, so I'm just going to go plop, plop, plop in a minute. So dot, 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 you know, just got trees all over the place. Once we start using the, once we start using the foliage editor inside of Unreal Engine 4, these trees and these like sort of foresty kind of environments will come out really, really great. So, you know, everything's going to look really, really cool. And we can also do a lot of stuff in terms of terrain, you know, sculpting and that kind of stuff, because the Unreal Engine 4 landscape editor is just brilliant, so we can get some really, really good solid, you know, environmental stuff going on. We'll be able to put that lake in there, we'll put a really nice material on there, and it's going to look absolutely gorgeous. I almost, you know, use a bad word there, because I'm just so enthusiastic about, you know, what you can do with Unreal Engine 4. Anyway, so... We've got the basics for our courtyard here. We've got a shed with a key and stuff. The shed we can do later. We can even model it or we can make it with BSP. But I mean, for now, this should be, you know, just about fine for us. Um, I'm going to save this on the document and we're going to start actually creating that terrain inside of, inside of Unreal Engine 4 now. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. If you want to, I'm going to try and put the link in the description for this little level plan just so you can follow along. Keep in mind it is going to be changing as we progress through the levels, you know, development. So as I actually start to develop it, I may add in things like jump scares and stuff like that. I don't want to put too much information on there right now as it's all up in the air. It could change at any time and I just want you to have an easy place to follow along and start from. So. I'm just going to save this on my document called, uh, on my desktop for, called Level Plan at the moment. And I'm going to go ahead and save that, and let's close it out. So now that I've done that, I'm going to create a brand new level. Now, if you, if you wanted to, you could use the default one, you could use the empty level, or the VR basic. Now, I'm not really going to do anything in terms of VR for this game, and I don't actually have a VR anymore. Um, I did have one, but I mean... I had the HTC Vive, which was, there was just too many cables, it was just a uh, brilliant experience. So anyway, so I'm going to use the default level just because it has like lighting set up, it's got the sky set up and all of that cool stuff, and we can just play around with some of the settings from there so that we can actually, you know, turn it into like a nighttime scene, add a little bit of atmosphere, add a little bit of spook, and so on. So now that we've got this, let's go ahead and start off by adding in a brand new terrain. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to the landscape editor and as soon as we do that you can see we've got a little preview as to how big our landscape is going to be. Now to me this seems a little bit big for what I want so I'm just going to go ahead and go down to um, size where it says scale 100 by 100 by 100 and I'm just going to change that to something like 60 by 60 by 60. And that will just make it basically a little bit smaller because landscapes do actually use a lot of performance on the computer. So you don't want to have any unnecessary, you know, terrain in there if you really, really don't need to. So it still looks a bit big. So I'm just going to change this to 50 by 50 by 50. There we are. And I might also change the number of components to something like 6 by 6. There we are, and it's not too big now. So once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and create this landscape. So to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and hit create. And we've got our landscape in the scene. And if I was to go ahead and press play, um, we would spawn underneath the ground. Uh, the reason for that being is simply that, you know, our player start is under the ground there. If we lift it up, press play, we can now walk around in our level. And it's really, really starting to shape and look like a game for us now. So what we need to do is actually start sculpting the level. So for now I'm not going to do too much as we're dragging on into the video a little bit and I'm just going to chuck pretty much a massive lake slap bang in the middle of this in the middle of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to do that by holding down control click and not by do not control click sorry. So control click. Okay, no it's not. Uh, so what I need to do is I actually need to change this to erosion so that it will actually go into the ground instead of brush because that adds it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Control click. 
and you can see it's actually forming that sort of lake now and it actually looks kind of realistic in the way that um, water would uh, erode into the ground so I'm just gonna control Z that just to get rid of it we're gonna start over again and this time I'm actually going to adjust the brush size to make it a little bit smaller and the reason why I want to do this is because most lakes aren't perfectly round so I'm just gonna add a little bit of shape to that so I'm gonna do the same thing basically I'm just gonna draw the little lake in there and try and get this to be quite deep because you don't want it to be uh, very shallow you don't want them to be able to see the bottom well not around the edges around the edges you should be able to see the bottom but around the middle you really shouldn't you want it to have that sort of effect that it's really deep you know you won't be able to swim in there and so on so it's looking quite good at the moment because there's actually not any water in there you can't really see the depth of it and there's no material to show that off either so if I press play um, and I you know jump out of this you can see that you know there is a bit of depth in there for our water it's not the biggest of lakes, but I mean it'll do for now. So one thing I want you guys to do and you know get into the habit of is just making sure that you build your lighting um, whenever you make any changes to your game so you can see how it looks. Especially when you're doing terrain because shadows can do a lot to you know how you perceive things. So it's good to see you know the terrain exactly how the player is going to see it. So I'm just going to quickly let this run, let it build up the you know build the lighting. There is a lot of information that it needs to process, so it may take a minute or two. But anyway, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to go over in this tutorial anyway. In the next few videos, we're going to start to, you know, really flesh out our terrain here. And we're going to really bring it to life. So you can see it's finished building here, and it's looking quite nice. And we've got a little world that we can play around with. And in addition to, you know, making the terrain and the worlds look nice, we also need to start adding some of the functionality like jump scares and all of that cool kind of scary stuff. And we also need to add in our flashlight pickups, our keys, and our hunger stuff as well. Anyway, that is pretty much everything for this video. Thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.